goes to Crystalline Castillo. Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask Janelle and Ashley if for any reason the new Miss Universe Belize cannot fulfill her duties, then the second place finisher takes over. Finishing in second place. is Ashley Reed, which means the new Miss Universe Belize 2018 is Janelle Fraser. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Belize, your new queen. Take your first walk, Janelle. Take your first walk mm -hmm. at Miss Universe Belize. And we're back. And we're back. We have been graced by her presence, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Miss Universe Belize 2018, none other than Janelle Fraser. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And congratulations. Thank you so much. I just have to ask, what's it like to watch that clip and see uh, the announcement all over again? It's surreal. It's surreal. I can't believe in that moment. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how to react, so mm -hmm. I'm still fresh with emotions. <laughs> <laughs> now, Janelle, this is such a great opportunity for us to start from the beginning. Um, you, right. You know, I want to say uh, congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, we met you along with the other delegates uh, in June, right. which is such a short time ago. <laughs> And one of the things I remember very early on from your interview uh, was that you spoke of wanting to represent a different look, a different face, and a different structure for Miss Universe Belize. Tell me about how much you felt you were true to your original journey. How I was true? Well, for me, it was never about losing weight. It was more so being health conscious, mm -hmm. holistically speaking. Okay being physically ready, mentally ready, emotionally ready. And so that was my biggest thing. And of course, like you said, being true to myself and showing people that no matter ethnicity, your color, your sexual orientation, it doesn't matter, just be true to you. Janelle, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? You're from Belize City. Yes, what part I am. of Belize City? Where did you well, go to school? Tell where, us the details. Well, I went to Grace Primary School and then I went to Palote and then I went to St. John's College mm -hmm. and I recently completed my last two courses at the University of the West Indies Open Campus online. Okay. So yes, I'm from Belize City. I live in Belama. Uh -huh. If anybody wants to come and say <laughs> hi. <laughs> yes. And uh, what is your intended career path? Well, I'm hoping what I wrote in my biography is that I'm hoping to be the first forensic psychologist in Belize. We don't have anyone with that, with that degree, so I'm hoping that I could be the first. Yeah. How do you go from forensic psychology to a beauty pageant? Oh, that's a good question. Well, for me, I always enjoyed being behind the scenes of pageants, so I always had a passion for it. 
just that I never saw myself as being on the stage. And of course, I have a, pa uh, uh, a passion for forensic psychology, for criminology, crime scene. And I figured, why not combine the two and show people, <laughs> that, you know, show people that you could do both. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. And looking at the, um, the trajectory that you've had as well, you've also been modeling for a while as yes. well. So it's not that you were a stranger to being in front of an audience walking right. a catwalk, right? Yes, but you know, the funny thing is I've been modeling, but I was modeling as a plus size model. Uh -huh. So this is different for me. And people always say, oh, you model, but it's, there's a different walk for everything. Yeah. You're showcasing clothes, here you're showcasing grace and eloquence, so it's totally different. Tell me about some of the transformations you had to make on a personal level. Um, we know the weight loss is a part right. of it, and, and 20 pounds is <laughs> not easy to lose. Right, that takes up right. a lot of work. But beyond that, looking at uh, some of the elements that you spoke of, being a representative right. or being a, what, what is usually called a beauty ambassador, um, what did that take for you to make that transformation? Well, for me, I honestly, I had to have an open mind. Mm -hmm. I will be honest with you, at times I felt, I felt like giving up because things were, weren't going as planned. But yeah. again, having an open mind and being positive really got me into the mind frame that you've seen. I guess you could see on stage, it, yeah. I made that big transition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And being able to learn the new walk and do, is, is there a difference in how you talk or uh, how do you do, uh, adapt the poise and the grace that is expected? Well, for me, that came easy because of the, the modeling background. Mm -hmm. it, I could transition. Yeah. For, but, but the speaking on stage, I, I'm not a public speaker. I'm very shy when it comes to being in public. So I really had to mentally prepare for that and just be myself. Yeah. How did this help in terms of building your self-confidence? I know you're mentioning that you're shy when it comes to public speech and what have you, but in terms of preparing yourself and finding the confidence within right. to be able to deliver. I am such an overthinker. I, I get really nervous and I lose my train of thought because I'm thinking about everything. And so what I had to do is to reach out to people who have experience and they said, don't worry about it, just speak freely. It doesn't matter if you're wrong, just be confident in your answer. And so that's what I did. Now we want the behind the scenes scoop of that pageant. <laughs> tell us, tell us. So uh, the night opens up and you know, this is the day. Tell us the frame of mind you were in at that time. Honestly, I wasn't nervous as I expected mm -hmm. I would be. But what I did when I did feel the nerves was to pray. Mm -hmm. And I felt a sense of calmness. And yeah. surprisingly, when the, when the intro dance came, I was excited i was into it and when we were practicing for rehearsals i was so nervous i said i can't do this on stage yeah. so it was different it was different yeah yeah and the first time you stepped out with the sash and did your first walk and saw everybody's reaction what was that like i was happy i was happy i saw signs that said my name my friends my family people were screaming yeah it was a great moment what was the interaction like between yourself and the other contestants behind the scenes in terms of preparing for this night? You know, surprisingly, the girls were so nice to each other. We all gave each other hugs before the dance and everyone said good luck. So we, we, we were very mature and happy for everyone. Yeah. 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 And the night itself was filled with uh, quite a few nerve-wracking moments. I mean, you had the Q&As. Right. Um, multiple <laughs> Q&As. Right. You had uh, the announcement of the top five, the top three, and then the final winner. Right. Uh, um, when you went into the question and answer section, uh, you know, that's when you know that the stakes are right. really high. Yeah. You were asked, I'm trying to remember your first question. It was about what would you tell your daughter? Something yeah. if I were a parent. If you I were think a that parent. Was, right. Yeah. So now that you've had some time to reflect, what do you, would you change anything? Would you say anything differently? I wouldn't change anything because in the moment it was real. When I got my question, the first person I saw was my mom. And she was sitting there and she was smiling. And 
it gave me the extra confidence and I said what this is a perfect answer because yeah. there's my mom I want to I'm aspiring to be like her yeah so it was pretty easy yeah and uh, looking at the final question as well you know I really didn't expect that question I felt that they would ask something like how would you promote Belize or why would you want to be the next Miss Universe so when I was asked that question I said oh this is something different and <laughs> I don't I wasn't expecting expecting it and I just spoke freely I yeah. said this is the moment use your adrenaline the excitement everything and just speak yeah. so that's what I did what do you do with this responsibility now considering the fact that there are quite a number of young girls out there looking up to you and the crown and and the fact that you know you're a role right. model for some well, what do I do? I think what I want to do is to have more public interaction in terms of community service because it's my passion. And I'm hoping to use this platform, this public platform, to speak about some issues that we tend to shy away from, such as mental health and domestic violence. Yeah. We're seeing that recently, so I'm really hoping that I can be the ambassador for that, as well as be the ambassador for my country. Yeah. So, was there a point in the pageant where you just said to yourself, I got this, I know I got this? Uh, oh, that smile says yes, <laughs> that smile says yes. Well, you yes. know, I, I have been preparing for this moment yeah. and... But what does it take? Tell us the preparation. It takes great friends, uh -huh. support, family, especially when, when you're doubting yourself, they need to remind you that, hey, you're capable of this, you have it. Mm -hmm. And so that was a really good encouragement for me And it. When I got on stage and I saw them and they were cheering, it reminded me of my purpose and so mm -hmm. it was pretty easy. And back to the original question of that defining moment. Defining moment on stage when I thought I I, I think when they announced the third place winner, I said, okay, this is it. This yeah. is the moment. Yeah. But I was still so shocked and Ashley started to cry and I said, oh, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> and then when I saw those tears, I said, wow, this is real. Yeah. There was a noticeable pause at the point where Ashley was announced as a second place winner. It's, it's almost as though it hadn't dawned on you as yet that you were actually the winner. I, I, I think I was just soaking the moment mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I was excited. Yeah. I was really, really, really excited. I have been working very hard for that moment. And so I said, finally, my hard work paid off. And this is, my journey begins. Yeah. So yeah. And what was your first thought that crossed your mind when you realized you are Miss Universe Belize for 2018? My first thought, wow, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I don't want to let Belize down. I don't want to let myself down. I always say once I win, my country wins. And so I immediately went into work mode. Yeah. What do I need to do? What training do I need to get? Yeah. I need to get speech, public speaking, presentation. And so all of that ran through my head. Yeah. Right. And uh, it also means that you'll be going to Thailand, representing Belize, and in just a few months as well. Right. Um, I think people don't realize how short the time span is. December, and, yeah. the 16th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's your plan now? What, what happens? Is well, I believe to the more? organization has a plan for me, trainers, and I believe we, I go away in October, mm -hmm. and I will be meeting some of them. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited about it. I know that they have good intent for myself and for Belize, and yeah. it should be good. The training should be good. Very intense, but good. Yeah. What does uh, Janelle Frazier as Miss Universe <coughs> Belize mean for us? What, what do you represent that we can be most proud of? I think I represent the country. I'm so culturally diverse. I represent a lot of ethnicities. People see my, my black skin and they think, oh, she's just one race, but I'm not. I'm Belize, I'm Hispanic, I'm Creole, Garina Gu. And so when I go up there, I'm, I'm representing everyone and I want, I want Thailand and all the other countries to see what Belize has to offer. Yeah. 
All right. And uh, looking at expanding your platform, as you said, um, mental health yes. and looking at women's issues. Uh, are you hoping to go out to other organizations, maybe find out a bit more about what's happening? Yes, that's definitely my intent. I'm hoping that I could be the spokesperson for them mm -hmm. and just bring highlight on what's happening and what we should and should not do yeah. in relations to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was your personal highlight outside from the crowning moment my from the pageant itself? My highlight was the swimsuit. Uh -huh. segment because I was so nervous and I was still so self-conscious of my body yeah but I said you know what just go out there and give it your all and just be confident nice. and so that was my exciting moment there I thought you were gonna say the dress the reveal that was oh, a beautiful oh, and that dress. too because what I did on social media I posted different dresses that mm -hmm. I had previously tried and people thought that one of them was my dress and so when they saw this they were like we didn't expect that, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, my dress is beautiful. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it was beautiful. And talk to us about the support you've gotten from the people you don't know. You were very active on social media. Right. How much of that you think uh, helped you to be able to uh, propel yourself as one of the leaders going into the pageant? Well, like I said, I'm representing Belize. And so for me, a lot of people has been very positive. They've, they've been sending me messages and encouraging me. And I feel happy. I feel happy because I want to do my best at Thailand. And I need the support of Belize. And so when they're sending me those messages, it really gives me the extra boost that I need. Yeah. Okay, and I'm sure you have a lot of people to say thank you to this yes. morning. Well, you, I can't remember all, Yeah. but I, what I can remember, I would like to thank my sponsor for here. Wow, she did a really good job. Bunnies, beauty salon, mm -hmm. my nails. Every, every two weeks, I was prepped and ready. Miss Lydia from Deluxe and the whole staff from there, mm -hmm. as well as Dr. Goff from the Buttonwood Bay center she's been very good with helping with skin care and tightening of skin mm -hmm. uh vip wireless as well i really can't remember all but i just want to thank every single person please forgive me if i did not mention your name but mm -hmm. everyone contributed in some way my friends my family belize and what do you want to say to Belizeans now? You can look right into that camera and talk to them directly now that you are officially our representative for Miss Universe Belize. Well, Belize, I am so excited. I'm, I'm happy. I'm glad to be your ambassador. I'm looking forward to representing you the best that I can. And I promise that I won't be a disappointment. You'll be screaming and cheering when you see me on that stage. I will re represent all of you to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And best of luck on all the work that is ahead of you. And once again, congratulations on being crowned Miss Universe. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and take our final break now. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up. So stay tuned.